we're going to be doing a low income burr. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. What's up, folks? Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. We're doing a low income burr. For those of you not in the know, burr is an acronym. It's a B in four R's, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. Okay, you buy a crummy house that's, you know, either super dilapidated or like super desperate seller and it's all jacked up, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you buy a crappy-ass house, right? Then you renovate the crappy-ass house. Then you put a tenant in the crappy house, which is no longer crappy. And since it's no longer crappy, you then get the bank to come back, refinance the sucker, and it should be worth more than what you paid and spent to renovate it. And that's what we're going to be doing on this little crappy house. And this is a little crappy-ass house. Now, this is actually already tenant-occupied, okay? But it's kind of slummy, dude. Like, you got blankets on the windows, broken-ass blinds, just crap all over the place. And the tenant, the current tenant, is paying, like, half a market rent because they're living in a slum, and they're kind of slummy themselves. Like, they're breaking their kitchen cabinets, obviously. Part of the floor is coming up right here. Uh, you know, it's just dirty and nasty and gross, just, like, nasty carpet. Like, the whole thing's got to get cosmetically renovated cool thing is though we do have updated electrical that furnace is probably like 25 years old but we probably don't even have to replace it when you uh do your renovation right we just need to get an actual solid uh high paying tenant in there to do the renovation uh with how i want this all to work out so that shouldn't be an issue but if you did have to replace it that's another three g's okay and another thing to note, there is no garage with this single family home okay normally when you do single family homes uh, you do not have to cut the grass for the tenants, okay? But with this one, you're going to have to because there is no garage. So, with all that said, my man Carlo, I didn't even tell you that this was your show yet. I mean, obviously, you figured it out because I sent it to you privately, and you're the only dude watching it. But, yes, this one is for you, obviously, Carlo. For everybody else who's watching, you're watching this several months after I sent it to Carlo. Okay, I send them out privately to you guys. Then we actually do the deal. And then after the deal's done, dust is settled, Carlo's no longer uh, you know, involved. You guys can't like snake his deal and take his deal or anything. Then I release them publicly on Holt Weiss TV. So you guys could all learn. And so I get the opportunity to tell you guys to send my team an email at sales at holtonwise.com and give us your phone number. And we will call you and talk to you about getting your own set of personalized videos and working with my team in the same way Carlo is doing, right? So with all that said, right? <clears throat> Crummy house. The address is 7401 Camden, 44102. It's been on the market forever, almost 140 days. Because it's priced at 46.9, and that crummy, slummy tenant, they're paying 647, right? That is just like a ridiculously small amount of money for this house, right? So, what I propose we do, Carlo, is I propose you buy it at 30. You, you make an offer at 30, we go ahead and buy it. And then. I say we increase the guy's rent. If we can get the guy's rent up, great, awesome, okay? Let's try to do that. If not, if he says, ah, screw you guys, I'm moving out, cool, bro, no problem. You want to move out? We go back into this crummy house, make it a not crummy house by dropping 25 Gs. 20 of that's going to be for cosmetic renovations. I penciled in an extra 5,000 just because the house seems so messed up. Like I seen like peeling flo uh, floors coming off. The windows were all jacked up, like the window treatment. So I'm assuming there's probably like broken windows. And when you're going for Section 8, it's very important that all the windows are the vinyl windows, not broken. Things of that nature, right? <laughs> Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> so because the house is just, you know, kind of rough, man, I wanted to include that $5,000 buffer for you, right? So that put us all into this thing at 55. Then we get ourselves a solid Section 8 tenant moving into our newly renovated house, paying 1000 Anticipate you making 
approximately $5,772 every year off of that. That makes it a 10.5 cap, which is fine. That's great. That's cool. But that's not what you're coming to me for. That's not what the money, that's not, what am I trying to say? That's not where the money really is. That's not where the bang is, man. That's not where the sizzle is. The sizzle is in the burr strategy. Because we did all this, because we took the time to do all this, we're all in for 55. I believe now with our newly renovated Section 8 occupied house, it's really nice, no longer just some slummy, nasty house. Bank's going to appraise it at 65. A $10,000 difference, that $10,000 difference makes all the world for us because with that $10,000 difference, Carlo, the bank's going to give you back 48750 of your original 55, meaning you only have $6,250 into the deal after you pay off this new mortgage which is teeny tiny you're going to be netting 3312 3312 every year on average it's a performance estimate average bro it's not going to be the same every year but generally if you own this for a long time that's what i think it would uh, pencil out as as your average return which would be a 53% return on your money right that's why people do the bird deals right invest in real estate's great guys Making money is great, but you don't really get the major impact until you combine that rental income with the financing. That's why I love real estate as opposed to other investments because you can't get this type of financing anywhere else, man. 30 years, low interest, fixed interest, that's the name of the game. That's how you really stretch your funds, right, Carlo? I think you, you have like $150,000 cash to work with, right? So we could do this deal pull all that money back right at the end of this deal you're making like 3300 a year and you started with 150k and what do you got now you got like 144k and you got this new income source right and that's how we keep stacking deal after deal after deal so Carlo, if you want to make this offer, man, just let us know in the private email. We will get that out to the listing agent. And then, of course, we'll do the continued due diligence with you. We'll get the home inspection scheduled, and we'll take over to property management, maintenance, insurance, cutting that grass since there ain't no garage, yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. Again, if you want to work with me in the same way Carlo's doing, hit us up, sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your number. We'll call you. Talk about starting, building, or growing your real estate portfolio. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.